Hi everybody, Hasan Sharik, Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant, talking to all of you from the beautiful Canadian city of Mississauga. First of all, my prayers, my warm wishes to all of you for the upcoming year 2021. Uh, Happy New Year. Um, by the time that you watch this video, probably it will be the, the last few hours of 2020 or maybe you would see this video in, in, in the early hours or uh, early few days of 2021. So Happy New Year to all of you. And I think um, all of us uh, need to pray for each other, pray for the world at large, that hopefully 2021 will bring much needed peace and tranquility. Uh, and it doesn't really treat us the way 2020 has. In terms of Canadian immigration, I feel that 2021 is going to be a very positive year, especially for express entry applicants. And that is what we are going to discuss in the later part of this video. Welcome back. So for those of you who are watching for the first time, I practice as an RCIC here in, in Canada through my firm Sharik Immigration and through my social media platforms, the YouTube channel and Facebook page, I upload videos on all topics of Canadian immigration. So if you wanna be uh, kept updated on Canadian immigration, do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and Facebook page and your comments, suggestion and feedback is always greatly appreciated. So 2021 um, and, and, it, and the possibilities in, in 2021 for express entry applicants. I believe, um, and, and, and this is based on some factual data, which I will share with you, um, that 2021 is going to be a much uh, better year for express entry uh, applicants um, all around the world. The reason, um, I made a video in which I did share the, the immigration level plan that Government of Canada has announced for 2021, 2022 and 2023. So looking at 2021, we are expected to see um, um, about 108,000 PR admissions in this particular year. So for that, um, if we do some mathematics and calculations, we are looking at some somewhere between 120 to 125,000 ITAs being issued in this particular year. Now, uh, the trend that we've seen is that there is a draw every two weeks and um, there have been around 5,000 ITAs. For this particular target that is there for 2021, um, on average, IRCC, if they conduct a draw every two weeks, should be inviting around four and a half thousand um, people in every round of invitations. So that's a very healthy number. That's, that's a very good average. And because at times there are rejections, like people who submit their application, they get rejected. Um, at times people do not proceed further with their ITAs. Um, there can be other reasons as well. Uh, so sometimes um, um, they, they actually have to invite a larger number to act to achieve that particular PR target. So I would say that first, uh, there is a, um, a strong possibility that in 2021, there will be a, an express entry round of invitation every two weeks. Um, and that pattern is going to continue. A lot of people actually thought that there might be a draw today uh, on the 30th of December. Um, and I don't know for what reason people thought that. It was like being discussed on social media um, everywhere. Um, some people commented on our social media platforms as well, but I, I, I thought that it's, it's not going to happen, although you never know, so you might have a draw tomorrow. Um, but uh, likelihood is that the next draw will be uh, in the beginning of January. So my expectation for 2021 is that there will be a draw every two weeks. Um, the likelihood is that. 
the draws will be um, the ITAs that will be issued in each draw will range between about 4,500 to 5,000. Uh, so they will vary in between this range, which is a good number. And if this continues, um, I expect the CRS to drop. Now, how much we'll have to wait and see as to uh, how things uh, roll out. But in all upcoming, looking at some of the numbers, the additions that have been there, I do expect uh, that uh, in, in upcoming draws, if the draw is um, between 4,500 to 5,000, the CRS cutoff score can drop between one to two CRS points in every upcoming draw. So the next um, draw, which we'll see in the beginning of Jan, I expect the CRS cut off to be um, 467, uh, 466 or 467. 467, one CRS point drop is, is, um, is what is more likely, but it could actually be 466 as well. And then uh, if there is a draw every two weeks, um, something like 4,500 to 5,000 in ITAs, I expect um, this cut of CRS to drop one point, one to two point every uh, uh, draw. Uh, and my own expectation is that it might actually reach as low as 460, 461. Um, at least, at least first few months, we'll see that. Now, um, a few important things to keep in mind that um, recently IRCC announced that now people can um, score additional points for French language ability. So a lot of people, and that is where we saw that there was there was a pause, um, like there was supposed to be a round of invitation after two weeks, but it happened after three weeks. So those people who had French language ability and their scores um, uh, were updated, that impact has already uh, been translated. Um, people have moved upwards and a lot of people right now who had that um, possibility, they, they, they've taken the advantage. I do not see the, uh, a great impact coming out of that in at least first few months. And right now, because of the COVID situation, a lot of parts of the world, even, even you know, doing all these tests and, and that's, that's slightly difficult. But I do expect that thing to impact in, um, in the later part of the year. I can't say after six months or maybe after four months or after eight months, but people who do have French language ability, they will start taking the French language test uh, and that will add some additional points. So even people, and also people who, um, who probably, um, um, do not have very strong French ability, but I know like even, even some of my own clients have, have started um, um, prospecting the idea of, of, of learning French for a few months and then, then um, sitting for an exam. So there is a likelihood uh, and even people who had some French ability, but they did not really do a test, they might be doing um, French language test and that might start adding um, some pressure uh, in terms of the CRS score. So first about four months, uh, I do expect three to four months, the CRS um, scores to drop, uh, depending on the frequency of draws and the number of ITAs expected one to two um, CRS points in every draw. Uh, I do expect the score to reach to about 460. Um, that'll be in, 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 in like what, couple of months from now. And then we'll have to see how the dynamics are at that time. Probably um, in, in say four to five months from now is when I expect new entrants coming in with French language tests as well. And that might start um, uh, pushing the score, um, the cutoff score higher as well, because that impact will be there. But before that, I expect the cutoff score to fall down. So that's why I am of the opinion that um, 2021 will be great for, for express entry applicants. Uh, the cutoff CRS is expected to fall down. 460, I clearly expect the score to go down to that, um, that range. Anything below that, uh, 
let's wait and see uh it might actually go down but i don't really i i don't really um, like to sort of um um calculate a little too far ahead um because there can be a lot of variables um so it might go below 450s when let's let's wait and see um with the cut of crs going down to 460s this will impact um uh, oinp as well the ontario immigrant nominee program the cut off for that is usually slightly lower than the federal cut off so they have been in 460s and 70s this year lately um once the federal cut off drops down i do expect oinp cut offs to fall down uh and again depending on how things roll out uh we might see those um um scores the oinp cut off scores to drop to 400 maybe late 40s and and, and 50s but 450s is a clear possibility so again a possibility for a lot of people now this is great for a lot of people who otherwise have all the credentials like 3 years of work experience a masters um clb 9 ielts but maybe they were 30 31 um so they could they could achieve their canadian dream um this year at least in the in the first few months of this year through express entry because then they'll be able to achieve the scores of 460s um some of the people could actually do it through um having a non accompanying spouse application so i see a lot of positive in 2021 at least in the beginning of 2021 in terms of canadian immigration specifically for express entry with this i will ask for leave um happy new year enjoy the festivities wherever you are um do take very good care of of the 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 sops that are there in terms of covid and and there's no need to you know go out in mass public celebration but do enjoy with your family um and do pray for for a prosperous 2021 um that's all for now take very good care of yourself and your families and i'll be back with another video on canadian immigration take care and allah hafiz